There? You don't know anything at all about us! You know, talking down to people isn't very nice. It would have been better if we'd done this after you had a chance to get to know us a little more. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I'm Harry Potter. The police won't be able to handle him. But it should be easy for me. Selica, don't do this! I'm not the guy she needs right now. What do you want me to do next, Orca? Hand over the ring. Don't you worry, Professor. I'll get it back. Are you willing to join me? Can't. I've got to go pump some iron. Brace! Did you find some more strays? Don't worry. I'll protect you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Greetings, professors. Nothing to report. Not even that microphone. It's sneaking into frame. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing this lovely Saturday morning? Uh, uh, I'm here. And I think I'm ready to stream. I had some issues. I would have been ready to go right at... 10 a.m. like I said I was going to, but uh, then stuff happened with the, the PS4 needing an update and the PS Remote Play app needing an update and couldn't figure out why it wasn't letting me log in. But now it's all working, I think. I woke up in a really good mood today. Hey, that's good. I'm glad to hear that, Linda. I'm actually here and not napping this time. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to... Glad to see your name in the chat again, Gentleman Jolt. Cool sticker, says Sunken Fool. Thanks. Last night, I laid out my ballot, and I pulled up a few tabs in Google Chrome, and I spent some time researching candidates up and down the ballot and propositions, and I... And I, I filled in little circles next to the ones that I thought were the least awful or the best, <laughs> depending on which uh, which particular thing I was voting for. Uh, and and now it's all sitting in an envelope waiting to waiting to go out. Caitlin's still got to do hers, so I, I'll probably let her compare notes with me and you know, discuss things. Um, but yeah, I voted. You should do it too, assuming you live in America where there's an election happening right now, basically. Uh, in most states, you have the option to vote by mail. Um, and I would recommend doing that. And if you are doing it, vote early. Uh, if you are... If you don't have that ability, if you don't have the option or you can't get the ballot in time to, to fill it out and, and do it early, uh, then I would recommend blocking out the whole day on election day, as best you can anyway, because lines are potentially going to be very long this year. Uh, at least in most states, there are not as many polling places available as there usually are because of the pandemic, because of of resources uh it's it's hard for it's hard to find enough poll workers and it's it's uh it's hard to keep things safe so there there have been er, there's been early voting in some states that i have seen where people were waiting in line as long as seven hours so be prepared for a long haul hopefully not that long uh and and just 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 go and vote regardless of how difficult it is Please vote, uh, because democracy depends on it. Hope things change here, too, next time I get to pick the least awful politicians. <laughs> nice. I already did, mailed my ballot out this week, and tracked it using the software provided online. I can confirm my ballot has been received. Yes, some states have the option for you to uh, put in your, your name or, or your address or whatever, and, and you can track your mail-in ballot from the time that you, from the time that they mail it to you until the time it gets back to them after you've filled it out and, and sent it back. You can track its, its progress uh, getting back to them. I know that's the case in California. I, I, I know it's the case in a couple other states. Uh, but yeah. So vote! 
Vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, vote. Thank you. I saw news of people waiting for 11 hours in Georgia last week. Yeah, that's insane. Maybe that's the one I was thinking of. It was, uh, it was, I think it was on John Oliver. They did a piece on, on one of the, the early, early voting places where uh, I think it was in Georgia where the wait was super, super long. Um, granted that's early voting. I'm sure on election day, there will be theoretically more polling places, but there will also probably be a whole lot more people trying to go to them. So... I don't know. Um, that's why vote by mail if you can, because you wanna you wanna make things easier for the people who can't. Um, but do it early because you wanna get you wanna make sure your vote gets counted, and and there's there's a chance that uh, that if you don't mail your ballot in early, that it won't make it there in time to be counted. Uh, and uh, and we're we're expecting. This, this election to be very different than most because most of the time we declare a winner on election night uh, and that is not anticipated to be the case this time around because, because of the pandemics and so many people voting by mail. Um, they are expecting to not have final results on election night, it'll probably be a few days or maybe even a, a week or two later that we that we have official tallies from from enough states to know who won. Because uh, it's also probably going to be close. Um, there's there's a lot of predictions saying that it's going to be it's going to look like on election night, it's going to look like Trump won re-election in a landslide and then as mail-in ballots all start getting counted, more and more states are going to flip to Biden, and we may end up seeing the opposite. We may end up seeing Biden winning in a, in a pretty decisive victory after all those mail-in ballots are counted, which, of course, is going to stir up all kinds of controversy because some people seem to think that mail-in ballots lead to fraud, even though there's no evidence of that. Um, what about Kanye? Dude, I was surprised filling out my ballot last night because, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, Kanye West has mounted a an extremely shoddy campaign for president uh, in this election. Um, and uh, uh, he, I think his name only made it to the ballot as the president on the pre for the presidential ticket on like in like 12 different states or something i think it's he's not on there for president in california but what really surprised me is that his name is on the ballot for the vice presidential ticket for the american independent party which was a surprise to everyone Kanye West included. And uh, the guy who's running for president for the American Independent Party. Because I went and looked it up. I was like, wait, I thought he was running for president, not vice president. Uh, and there was like an article that was talking about how he didn't know that they were putting his name as the VP. Uh, the guy running for president was like, he wouldn't have been my choice for VP, but he was the party's choice. <laughs> So it was like, it was, uh, it was, it was very, uh, very surprising to see his name, not where I expected to see his name on the ballot. Um, anyway, that's my soapbox for the week. Vote, please. And now we're going to play some 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Oop, there's the button. And it's hopefully going to work. This is where we left off. Arcanum Symphonus has now finished this game. It's so good. Well, thank you. Um, let's go back to Remembrance. 
And let's see who's available. We've got Keitaro Miura, Megumi Yakushiji, Iori Fuyusaka, Juro Kurabe, Yuki Takamiya. And that's it. Okay. So, we're going to do a poll for who you guys want to see more of next. Whose story are we continuing now? Keitaro Miura. Megumi Yakushiki. Iori Fuyusaka. Juro Kurabe. Or Yuki. Takamiya. That's all, right? I didn't miss anybody good, because I'm out of room. Poll starting right now here in the chat. What brand of soap is the box? <laughs> Thanks, James. Uh, uh, Irish Spring. I don't know. It's the first brand that came to mind. I haven't used that soap in a long time. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's a poll live right now if you're watching live in twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley in the chat to the right of the viewer. There should be a little drop-down menu where you could twirl it open and vote for your favorite choice for who we see more of next. Right now we got a tie between Iori Fuyusaga and Juro Kurabe. Don't leave it to me, guys. Come on, we're not doing a runoff vote. Hey Kyle, I enjoy this game a ton. I just want to apologize to you because I used Ogata more than A. His demolisher blade is way too good. Well, fine, JT Jag. I don't care. Yeah. You didn't hurt my feelings at all. Not, not, not even a little bit. Hey, it's Yori Fuyusaga. Okay, I entered the giveaway, but I'm hoping Good I can buy it Professor. myself. Well, thank Nothing you, Silver. Um, pop tarts and a bowl of cereal. I don't know what that's about. Hexanot, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome to Hacker Clan. Glad to have you. For the poll voters, my recommendation: try and keep as many of the characters' stories as you can, even. Thanks, Arcanum Symphonus. I love the Yuki sit. Uh, no, we got Iori Fusaka. That's who's next. Listen, if you wanted me to use A in the final battle, you should have insisted to the devs to give you a wacky AoE melee, too. Doesn't he have Demolisher Blade? I'm pretty sure he does, because I'm pretty sure I, I have it on him. Whatever. Let's do some Iori Fusaka. Sleep deprived from nightmares and other stuff. I I forgot. Heading home. Did you see that Usami chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. Uh so many stray cats around here. After this. You wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi-kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. Boys, boys, boys. Is there even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen Oh, I missed my chance. When Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice Oh, here we go. Here. About Amiguchi kun I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan, too. We were in the same class. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Because I interrupted. So you've mentioned. Becca, romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. 
That's my kind of girl right there. Let's do it! Good idea. Where should we go? I'd love to go back to that one place. Let's get sweets. Yeah. It's a hot day today. So? Why don't we get soft serve? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. Oh no. Ice cream or crepes, guys? Oh, I can smell the crepes now. Freshly made. Do I pull? I'm pulling it. Which one? Ice cream or crepes? Don't you want to try it, Yuri Chan? Pull! Oh, I can smell the crepes now. What? That's not what I. Okay, good. I didn't see ice cream for a second in the pull. I was like, it just has crepes. <laughs> Ice cream or crepes. Oh, I can smell the crepes now. Freshly made. I need it. The soft serve place just got a new flavor in. Ooh, it's close. I what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yuri? It's so close. Oh, I can smell the crepes now. Freshly made. Crepes since Japan loves crepes. Ice cream for ice cream. Just put ice cream on the crepes. Oh, there you go. Alakazam has the answer. We'll go get crepes first. Then we'll go to the soft serve place and we'll put the ice cream on top of the crepes. Crepes it is, but it was close. Crepes are in a cone. That's... That's not how I've ever had crepes. You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. Well, let's see. Try it and find out. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. It's just the way crepes are eaten in Japan, easy carrying. It's it's fascinating to me. What if I got the tuna in mayo? Because I've only ever gotten it like folded over on a plate. Like the French style. Cats can't have crepes. I actually have Where'd your crepe go? Did she just swallow it? Wow. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. <laughs> Two bites Thanks, and the whole crepe is gone. I'd love to go back to that one place. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? What am I doing? Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Maybe. There's a cat! The guys react when Mori Moro walks in. How do you say they're not looking at her eyes? Now's the time. I'll use Miwa Chan's treats. As for guys, I like how I think I'll make good. How do I use them? No, don't run away. Did you see that, Usami Chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. It's gone now. I chased it away because I was trying to get to where I could use the treats. Someone's feeding them. That kitty. 
after this. You wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, I'm standing really directly great. behind. He looks a bit <laughs> like Amikuchi kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. <gasps> Oh, oh, man. Really? Did you see that? This is so frustrating. Again. I don't see it. <sighs> Must have taken off already. So many stray cats After around this. here. You wanted to go keep you well. Skip it. Man, We've heard it all before. Okay. So you gotta go look at the cat. Then walk over here. Ask for cat treats. Over here. Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. There we go. Now we got the Ben Dis cat. He ate the whole thing. And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. Oh, it's not him? You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... Let's find out. You're late. Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. You're late. It's not so bad. High school starts at 8:05. Or did for me. There's the cat. Oh, kitty. Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Where am I going? This way? Maybe not. I can walk up and down. I can walk left and right. I have nothing new to think about. Oh, I forgot I have a run button. I should be using that. I guess I'll think about old things. Skip the stuff we've already heard. Does that button only work for, uh... That only works for stuff you've already heard, right? That fast forward button? It doesn't do that to stuff you haven't heard before. I hope. Oh, he's sleeping. Good morning, Fuyusaka san. Shh, quiet. Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? It's pronounced UFO. Sorry. Thank you very much. Greetings, Professor. Uh, Nothing to report. Cogwell, thank you so much for that resub. Two months with Hacker Clan. Glad to have you here. Good morning. What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. 
Uh-huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Thanks, Sailor okay. Peter. Oh. Oh, no! I hurt my friend's feelings! Memory of a dream 300 meters underground. Spaceship ruins. Juro. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, I... Juro, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more She's too in love with A. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. Everybody in the world is dead. So you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. It I, It's hard to say where we're at in the story, Conquiel. This isn't... This is not a game where I can easily recap... <laughs> because we're following so many different characters each through several different timelines that seem on the surface to be disconnected like they have com a completely different set of memories in one timeline than they do in another and they they, they seem to but they like in that other timeline, they're like, Hey, I remember having this dream where I was in a giant robot fighting stuff or whatever. So it's like, it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to summarize where we're at. This is a game where there are like five distinct dramatic twists of the sort that would be the only dramatic twist in most games. And they all crash into each other. Yeah, thanks, JT Jag. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard to to say where we're at, especially because it's like, I mean, we jump around from character to character, too. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. You're unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... That was mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. They're downloading using a 56k modem. Well, they are in the 80s, aren't they? Actually, I don't know what time, what, what year it is now. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you ask me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. That is not what I would call a teleporter. Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. It's the 1800s. The of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. 
We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. Oh, you want me to you want me to walk over there? The analysis took some time, but I found this. What's that? What is that? It's a map of this spaceship map, underground. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. It's an UFO! Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. Or except it's, it's buried you except it's underground. And ooh go. Unidentified underground object. <laughs> We're only 300 meters from the surface. Oh, this facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It's not flying. The F doesn't make sense. It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? Bunch of numbers. This is a countdown. Oh, yeah, it is. When the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. So when the countdown reaches zero... What happens? what happens if I just stand here long enough for that countdown to go down? To the gravity wave abnormality. <laughs> Do you think it might... I wonder how long that would take. Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. You think it would loop? So many choices. Okay, I think it's the same options. I don't think anybody is unlocked that was locked. So... Who's next? I'm just going to put first names. Pole is running. Your choices are Yuki Takamiya, Juro Kurabe, Iori Fuyusaga, Megumi Yakushiji, or Keitaro Miura. Can I check how many tickets I am in for total? There is no way to do that, but I can tell you. Honk we all. You have two tickets at the moment. For the giveaway. Can you check mine too, please? Sure. Silver has 20 tickets. That's the max. To the max. Looks like it's going to be Yuki or Megami. Somebody know. Somebody vote for one of them. Please, no, don't make me choose. Oh, no, it's a three-way tie. All right, I'm going to go for whoever's got the lowest percentage. Yuki has 
Iori has 28%. Megami has... Oh, no, it's a... T uh, those two are tied. Now how do I decide? I like Yuki. We're going with Yuki. Cool. Nineteen eighty-five, high school rooftop. Okay. What to do? Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to A -C. Eat all the time when we were kids. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. There you are. I've been looking for you. A C. Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? By leaving you here. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Frickin' weirdo. <laughs> it's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Cigarettes? Aren't these kids? So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. Not supposed to smoke till you're 18. Or is it 21 now? <sighs> this is 1985 and she's a delinquent. Oh yeah, that's a fair point. 1985. 20 in Japan. Ooh. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? Sheer luck. Nice. I don't know where we're going. I guess we're going to go into the school. Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? Oh. Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Maybe not John's in here. Or not. <laughs> not Tsunami Nami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Bum bum bum. We already asked her that. I guess we'll ask again. Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? 
I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. Malchon was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Probably. in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. And the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi Kisaragi, I think? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Yeah. I got some things to ask you. to know Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. So, uh... Yes? Is that it? That's all I have for her? Sukebon is a delinquent girl, okay. Was there something else? Huh? This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. Was there something else? Guess not. To the athletics building. Which is an interesting term for gym. Team. Whoa, okay. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsunomi Nami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep, I thought so too. No, I'm gonna talk to the manager. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami san started skipping training. And school, too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But. We got a lot of questions to ask. A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. Did we see this? We don't know what happened to Natsuno, right? Like, we just stopped being able to follow her story. I think. Because I don't remember anything about an explosion. 
We do not know as of yet. Okay, I didn't think so. That's right, yeah, she was back in time. She went back to the 40s, and, uh, and she, the, the bombs hit. Yeah, I think she's stuck back in time last, last we talked to her. You on the track team? Yes. Do you know anything about the fire in the north building? No. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her On being fire? from school. <laughs> well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, Arcane. I, I, I got that, because I did talk to her first and went, You're on the track team, right? And she said yes. But then I asked about the North Building fire, and it, it was like, do you know anything about the North Building fire? And she said, no. And then I said, Natsuno Minami is too, right? So it was just a little bit of a... <laughs> just the fact that I asked about the North Building fire in between those two conversations made it sound a little disjointed. Concantination. It is a tricky beast. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Wait, I want to go into the locker room. Can I do that? I can, but first let's go talk to Watson. Okay, I'm glad I had that conversation with you. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain. Their intentions were not pure. What are you talking about? Excuse me. That room is for authorized personnel only? Just a damn locker room. Seriously. I am female. Females can go into the female's locker room, right? That ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. Oh, okay, I get it. Yo, Iba. I wanna take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? What, you don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah! Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done.
I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? <laughs> oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Hmm, I shall cover my mouth as I wander around this room. Hmm, tiny nameplates. Nachans, found it. And it's just unlocked. That notebook. Really secure that locker room. Class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. Let's think about it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space, an actual extraterrestrial being. In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachon make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? <laughs> what follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Well, anyway, it's yes, a clue. she did do that. Tokisaka Shrine. Why is it still green? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. That's where you're confused, Natsuno. You're the one who flies the Sentinel. Not, not Wally. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the? Oh, I need to talk to somebody helping? about it. That's what. It is. Gotcha. Thank you, delicious orange earth. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Notchons. Found it. There more in there? Nothing I haven't already looked at. Oh, okay. You were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> Joy-Con drift. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. Why? You heard anything about that fire in the north building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. We gotta go to the shrine. Uh oh. We got a we got a black suit. I don't wanna go back to school. <laughs> I'm Takamiya with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me. So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? 
We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Rude. Worry about your own mission. I wish to go to the shrine. I can't though. I can keep asking her about the north building fire. Go through the school. I need to get the keyword back? I don't have the notebook anymore. Oh, yes, I do. What follows is an investigative re These are the Can I help you? No. Have a minute. Got the damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. There we go. I should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Although I probably should have talked to Billy. Oh well. Sheena no me. Hey. Yuki Takamiya. It's Weren't Kira. You told not to contact me. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UF. Wait. Yes? There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. A projector? Yeah. Yeah, and you were saying something about Four Eyes. Mr. Ida. Oh. So sudden. Headaches? My pills. I get those. Shino no me. It wasn't too long after I transferred here. I saw her. She was near the old school building. Hmm? I was thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. This is I heard the it's gonna be demolished present soon. school building when we're back in the no 40s, it right? Is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. It would have been a perfect place to hang out. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have gone into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? 
my ID is now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Search for it. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. It was all a lie. Who that? Is this me? Oh. From the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida. He was using me right from the very start. I was such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other. So filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been... Long Circuit and Revenge of the Geeks. <laughs> Project Ark was a mistake. But it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. What remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No. But this you did. As well. You're a monster. We have no need for a future. What in the hell? Where'd BJ go? was with four eyes she no know me right it's impossible are you okay did i do it was it really me well i destroyed the world to find you no i won't believe it mr ida would never deceive me what are you talking about? There's no way. That isn't my future. It's your past. Just it's your past, present, future self. Okay? Come on, stand up. Who are you talking about? Was it Four Eyes? If that's the future we're heading for... And what good are these? Shit. <laughs> Madison? Here. Don't you need these? Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy. How did he end up all the way over there? Is it a new kind of projector or something? <laughs> it was such a genuine reaction when she threw the pills on the ground. Shit. <laughs> huh. So how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Uh -huh. Hey, are you all right? Get that thing out of here. Please, don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone. Please. The plot thickens. It 
It's a logic virus. Because <laughs> it's Kira. Can't believe you collapsed on me like that. Uh, hey, whoa. Hey, ho, whoa. You sure you're okay to get up? That's an infinity train reference. Here. It's your medicine. Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. Why did you have my medicine? See you, Silver! You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. After I said, I shit. It? Yeah. Anyway, about that thing... Are you sure it was okay? Huh? What? The thing you told me to hide. I said no such thing. Are you trying to play games with me? The what? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying a lot. What? Me? Don't lie to me. What? What the hell is going on with this girl? It literally just happened. Ugh. That is a lot of pills. Seriously? What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. Jeez! I uh, know, dude. <laughs> it looks like bad news to me. Oh. Hey, Doc, you might want to pump her stomach. I'm fine. Takamiya san, please just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just. You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. Well, that was <clears throat> creepy. Hey, we unlocked Ryoko's story. Uh, oh crap, how many do we have now though? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I can't have that many poll options. Well, start going by lowest, either Ryoko's prologue or Juro's first chapter. Yeah, let's do let's do that. I'll just I'll just limit your choices from now on on my end. Uh, okay, so... Your options... For who's next... Ryoko... Since we just unlocked her... Juro... Megumi... Or Keitaro... Those are your choices... Those are the choices I'm giving you. Ryoko. Juro. Megumi. Or Keitaro. Miura. Give me your votes. I had a text. I needed to check it. It's all good. I like them all, though. Yeah, I know. It's it's hard. We'll get to all of them at some point. Oh, it's a toss-up between Ryoko and Keitaro. Oh, 
Oh, come on, don't make me pick. If you make me pick, I'm going for the lower percentage. Which is Ryoko. Of course. You guys suck. <laughs> Making me make choices. 2064. We're in the future. She don't know hey, she doesn't have the band-aid around her head I yet. Have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> um, where are you going? Mr. Ida? That was really rude, sir. I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived. Well, uh. I knew you'd be special. Buh. That something might happen between us. Hmm. This is. This is some. Some some uh Mrs. Robinson vibes happening. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important, don't to talk me, to her about positions. To all of us, a bad plan. You and the rest of those chosen as pilots. Your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonomekun. Whoops, what did I do? Wrong button. It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart. And great tenacity. He keeps saying Kuhn, so he really has no interest in uh, in uh yeah. Yeah. Correct, Linda. Honorifics. Victory. Providing context the for us. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida. Is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? Whoa! <laughs> if we can defend against the Phrasing. Of city, <laughs> it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Are we still doing phrasing? <laughs> hey, hey, it's what's me. What's going on here? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Seki Gahara Kun. Stop, Akun. Hey. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait. I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko-senpai. That is excellent news. 
Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Where are you going? Come back. Full scale invasion. Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7. 23 that remain in the south. Cat way. suit is ridiculous. <laughs> I hear those bullets popping up at the same path. time. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonomekun pulled back. response from Sekigahara either. Systems being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> That suit is vacuum sealed to keep him in critical. God. What's going on? It's throbbing. Both sentinels are showing abnormalities in their system. Incorrigible or incorrigible? Use the force transmit code on all units. But we don't have time to adjust the settings. Do it as is. The link will be shut off that way. But we'll have no idea where they go. The pilot's lives are the priority. Number 16 and 13 have begun transmitting. Number 12 and 19 transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. What's happening? How did this happen? The kaiju are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number 8. My time with that. You two, head for the gate. Itakun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. Dragafa's lost. I kinda am too. Obviously the battle did not go well. Whatever happened. Him who? Ida? Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape. Poor Ninji is taking a nap. <laughs> 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Oh. 
All right. A gun made in the 2100s. But it's only 2064. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. Him who? Is she talking about me? There's still some ammo left. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. We don't know. Whoever prisoner 426 is, she doesn't like him. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's me. It's me. It's time to pay for what you've done. 426. <laughs> it doesn't really work. There's not enough digits. 42601. <laughs> told you I was 426. I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? There's still some ammo left. We're done talking. No! I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it. It always ends huh? like this. No, it usually ends the other way around, doesn't it? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered. No, user. that's right. It does. It, it yeah. It, it, it always ends with two B killing nine A. <laughs> I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides. What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. Got your nose! <laughs> I mean, your pills! <laughs> So that was Ryoko's prologue. Uh, let's see. Now, what's next? I think it's going to be the same options as last poll. But just in case what we saw just now changes your opinion of who's next, we're going to do it again. Ryoko. Juro. Megumi. Miura or Keitaro. I would love to do one of these guys, but I can't. I don't even have Nenji unlocked yet. Anyway. Okay, Ryoko, Juro, Megami, or Keitaro? You need the next to do to beat the next battle to continue Amiguchi's story. Okay. Yuki unlocks Nenji. Okay. Trying to keep things relatively even as we advance. Ooh, it's a close vote. Juro and Megami tied. Ryoko only one vote behind. Don't make me pick, guys. The whole point of the poll is for you to pick. 
I don't have... Do I not have Tommy yet? I don't. You're right. Juro! Just an ordinary day walking home from school as usual until a giant robot appears. She's gone missing again. What's with people always going missing? Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Wait. Why not? Haven't we done this already? Oh, oh yeah, sorry, Chan. Forgot. You've been acting strange lately. I never finished reading this. Are you this. okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, worried about you. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves again. during break time. Sorry, I and? have plans. What about it? Why? You I'm just wondering where Why she are time. two conversations happening at the, the same time? She runs off to the nurse's <laughs> office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? <gasps> Come on, quit it. Sorry, Miwa-chan. <laughs> Okay. I'll go home by got three options on Crap. continuing the story from here. I should head out too. See you, Miwa Chan. Later. Okay. Bye. It's not the one you were looking for, but <laughs> I found a little something I else you've been wanting to see. Time. You know that hardcore foreign movie? Whoa. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Deja vu is going to be common. It's a game about time travel. Fair point. To the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. In that movie... An alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. Uh... What movie are we talking about? While I was taping that, that show, I remember, I remember teleporting. Else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Was it like, uh... I don't know. Terminator? <laughs> I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm Definitely not Star Wars, yeah. The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. <laughs> Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just... Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> no spoilers! Gucci Kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Don't forget your bag. A 
home. I forgot I had a flyer in there. The one for the Dimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. A long-running series of us fighting in giant mechs. Hey, remember the original Dimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Dimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. You're no fun. Besides, what year is this? 1985? We're only like 35 years away from not having the ability to go to movie theaters anymore. Not yet. The cafeteria, that's the long way around. <laughs> Let's use the other stairway. I guess there's nothing else for me in this hallway. That's our director. I heard I found Christian Lamont. <laughs> Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. This is a nice cafeteria. It also does not look very 80s to me. I think the girls might know where he is. Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Huh? Oh, you're Okun. Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... Do you want to go to the school dance? About that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. What? About that. Um... He's got a lot going on, you know? If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. What? You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. What happened? What happened? Uh huh? Guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Mom? Could you get the chopsticks?
I would, but I don't know where they are. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. Yeah, I didn't think so. Not mom. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. Why are they living together? There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. <sighs> I need to come up with a way to kick her out. You said there was a guy living with you. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. Thanks. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. It's me! <laughs> Why not? Well, because... You're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl. Alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you trying to torture me? <laughs> Puberty exists. Puberty is a thing. I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> It is exactly like Fate's like Day Night. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, uh. I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. Do they know that the back door is just open? Because they could just walk around. Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. This is like the start to a porn. <laughs> oh my god, Juro-kun. I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> so, uh, not so no allergic to pants. Yeah, seriously, we never see her in anything other than this tracksuit. The favor is. Oh, Minami-san, I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? Your, your I'm telling you, it's the start to a porn. Classmate? Are you two? Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just, you know, <laughs> Natsuno san? Whoa! Oh, come on. Okay. In. Pardon my interruption. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um... It's Thanks for bringing over a pizza, but I don't have any cash. Is there another way I can pay you? <laughs> what? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Everybody just walking into the house. I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. Wow. Okay. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? 
There goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. They may not lock their doors much, Arcanum, but don't they, like, have etiquette to not just barge in? Huh. Okay, um... I don't know if we want to... I want to look at his chart really quick. Oh, wow, there's a lot of, uh... A lot of branches to that story that we missed. Are we missing branches to anybody else? Yes. We could have gone for soft serve instead. For Iori. We've only done her prologue. We've only done his prologue. Whoa! All kinds of stuff we missed with her. We've only done her prologue. Okay, so I think I'm putting it to a poll between the three. Is it just the three who we've only done the prologues for? Megumi, Ryoko, Keitaro. Yeah. One Sentinel, clueless main character. Wouldn't really cut it as a title. <laughs> Who's next? Ryoko. Oh, Ryoko. There's an O at the end. Megami. Or... Hitaro. Three choices right now. Ryok. Clueless player would also be accurate. Yeah, that's that's true, Arcanum's opponent. Ryoko, Megami, or Keitaro. With the one she cherishes taken away, Ryoko Shinonome vowed revenge. She went after anyone she believed to be 426, but she lost consciousness due to severe headaches. Hence the bandage around her head. Or... Megumi Yakushiji vowed she'd make a deal with the devil if it would bring back Juro Izumi, her lover who lost his memories. Or... Keitaro Miura was chosen as a cadet for a secret new weapon. When his hometown was attacked, he spoke spring into action in his new sentinel. Excuse me. You're thinking of Ryuk. USA Hime. Are there channel points on this channel? Not uh, Twitch-based channel points, but there are uh, chat uh, uh, Streamlabs channel points. G. Keitaro Miura is next. We got G. This stuff. Nineteen eighty five. Where I am. At least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. Gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Nothing's changed today either. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. That was not the new one. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. I don't think they're American weapons. Wheels, they move on long leg like appendages. I don't think they came from America, right, bud. Fine sight. Like something out of hell. Ow. Orc. <laughs> that was my knee. 
<laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Ow. Oh. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there. Ouch. Hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. <laughs> That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. Jack, my knee. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Yes. Yes, it could. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. I got a hundred bits from Kefka owns... Kefka owns all. Kefka owns all. That's the name. Tsukasa is best gay. So fun World War... So fun World War II fact. Many people owned blackout curtains to make sure you couldn't see lights from the sky. Well, all right. Let's remember that day. I feel like you'd need more than blackout curtains to shut out war. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. Someday somebody's gonna put together a super cut of Twitch clips where I'm just rearranging to try and get comfortable and I hurt myself. <laughs> there are just too many of them. But I'm not about to just sit here and die. I still have two minutes before I hit my operating limit. Might as well give it everything I got. He's not throwing away his shot, yeah. <laughs> Where's the enemy? Did I lose? What happened? It reached its operating limit. Everything was just on fire. Oh, we teleported. All these giant towers okay. with glass windows. Or time travel then. What the hell's going on? <sighs> the last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and No. It can't be. I've heard about major US cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. <laughs> but I'm not going down without a fight. Guess I'll just die. Face the enemy, even without my sentinel. Uh, the sentinel. This is bad. The sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. 
I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. Yeah, nobody's gonna see it. It's I'm fine. Afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Now that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. Well, you were doing that until you stopped to talk to yourself. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. Oh, we, yeah, we're not in America. Yeah, we're not in American City, bud. Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one it's Christian again. And Lucian. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. <laughs> it almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. Okay. So many cars. Where in the world am I? This is in America. The question is, when it looks in the like world Japan, are. but everything seems off. Dun dun dun! Just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about. Just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks the were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <laughs> The hell you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. You hey, said that out loud, bud. Get your ass kicked. <laughs> it looks like I've finally gone crazy. <laughs> you want to see crazy? Hey, stop! Ow! Right in the face with a briefcase. This room. Oh, this shoes on. place? I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. I guess we're not here to look out the window. Maybe the TV? A box-shaped Technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Uh, it's about How baseball. can you be confused I'm not in a military base, about 1980s technology? when you have access to a giant mech it's a calendar 1985 it's all in my head it's just an illusion foreign phonograph records takatoshi son used to let me listen to his why are there so many records here there are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas.
Weren't movies and TVs a thing in World War II? Not in color. And, uh, no, not... Not TVs, I don't think. They did have TVs in the 40s. The 36 Berlin Olympics were the first thing broadcast. Oh, really? I guess... I guess so. 40s. I know by the 50s they were... Everybody had a TV. Nothing new to think about. Oh, here we go. Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. This can't be right. 1945. The year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945. That's this year. No, August no, you just saw this year's now 1985. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Probably to 1985. Wait. What did that calendar say? <laughs> it has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Could it really be? You okay? Here. <laughs> it's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <clears throat> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? <laughs> I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. Is this Coke milk? <laughs> 1985. Am I still in Japan? But in the future? Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. So you helped me? Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. Rich guy doesn't have water on the fridge. I don't I don't think that in the 80s they had refrigerators that could dispense water. I need to know Maybe they did. Thing. I'm not sure. What year is it? Uh what? Afraid you got knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. Bottled water? I, bottled water definitely wasn't a thing yet. It was all tap water back then. A pitcher of water? Yeah, maybe. Glass bottled water? I don't know. I, I don't know if that... Was that a thing? I think in the 80s, we weren't really concerned about pollution within the tap water yet. Um, so it was mainly just ice cubes out of an ice cube tray in a glass that you had filled with water out of the tap, I, I think. Plus, soda was very popular 
in the uh, in the mid '80s. All right, we're gonna do either Ryoko or Megami. And then I think we're going to take a... Well, we might do both of these. And then we'll take a breather from the, the story stuff to go do some destruction. And, uh... And, and unlock some more... stuff. Water wasn't popular until the 90s. It'd be more common to see soda or juice in the fridge. I mean... I mean, it's not like water was unpopular, but it just, uh... Oh, as far as, as far as bottles. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Soda had just become such a big thing. Particularly in the 80s. Like, it, I mean, it had been a big thing for, for a while, but particularly by the 80s, it was, it was very, very popular. Because I don't think anybody really knew uh, negatives attached to it, and it tasted so good. It was close, but we're going with Megami. Vowed she'd make a deal with the devil if it would bring back Juro Izumi, her lover who lost his memories. I'm back. Oh. Why so tense? It's your house. Take a load off. Uh. Ignoring me, huh? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. <laughs> Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high maintenance girl, aren't you? I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Being alone is the most logical solution. You really are an unpleasant cat. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. You know you like me. The first time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy. Chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. No, that's not true. So, what did you think about your first time? I'm sorry? Did you already forget? You know, with the gun. And you shooting Renya Goto. Don't say it like that. What? Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. What? It felt great, didn't it? What? My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. Yeah, let's go find out what the hell we're talking about here, because... All right, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say. But actually pointing a gun at someone is just... It's not just a gun. It's a magical gun. Or would you rather it be a magical kitchen knife? I... don't want that. You extinguish the evil in the person you shoot. Or if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still... Ready or not, here he comes. Magical gun. Hmm. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um, well... I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't need to call me out here to do that. 
Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um, don't really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection. But it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. This is insane. I can't just shoot someone. This is insane. But what am I supposed to do then? Anyway, we need a password. You don't say. Dumbass, don't look over here. <laughs> Just shoot him already. Idiot. This is insane. I can't just shoot someone. Don't worry. We'll find the answer before they arrive. Then discat. If you don't. Then we fight with the sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so. But we cannot do nothing. At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. I won't let him hurt Juro again. I have a better idea. Sound like a tranquilizer gun. Oh no. What have I done? You shot a person. Shot That'll do. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah, he'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, numbnuts. <laughs> His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. He won't even remember coming to meet you. And lip loopy. Well, we should probably make ourselves <laughs> scarce now. Wait. Versus Ben Discat. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do. You shot him in the arm from point blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body, it shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. <laughs> no, I'm ovaries, because she's a girl. Bleak, kid. Oh, God. Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches I tell you to. That was the deal. All you gotta do is shoot them. I don't care where. But if you fail, our contract is broken. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Keep changing the TV channel. I don't want to turn it off. Reminds me. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. This gun. Is it really magical? Just wanted to check that flowchart for a second.
You do see how tall I am, right? Put it on the floor. Still has enough magical bullets. Good, good. Harry Potter and the clock. <laughs> you never know when you might need to use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly magical wand? Yes. What? You want to put on a frilly pink skirt? Well, I'm already wearing a Wave frilly pink apron. Magic stick like some idiot. <laughs> All right, you made your point. Str yes, my strongest magical <laughs> attack. Shoot gun. <laughs> That's why it's a gun. The oh, hell. He's coming. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. Meet me at school. Bye, Ben Discat. Juro. Oh, hey, Yakushiji. Yakushiji. Man, movie's still not on. More extra innings. Baseball. Sorry, I know it's light. I'll make some dinner. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But you can't just skip dinner. I already got ramen with Amiguchi-kun earlier. You're still growing. If ramen's all you eat, you won't get the kind of nutrition you need. Just leave me alone. <sighs> Wait, come back. But I love you. No. Hey, fellow students, would you like to speak with me? No? Okay. Well, who's next? Wrong cat. Are you ignoring me because of yesterday? Wrong cat. Oh, right. Someone might overhear. I thought we agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. A meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Morning. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously. Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. I'm just gonna pull oh. out this magical oh, gun and shoot you. So good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay. I'll see you after school. Wait! Come back, I love you! <laughs> I hope people just think you're obsessed with cats. Instead of some crazy person... Who thinks cats give up... Sailor AK-47 magic shooting... Anyway. Spotted the witch yet? I'll keep a lookout. Meet me after school in the passageway outside the old building. Got that? Not yet. The teacher asked me to carry this stuff. From the old building, you know? That place is freaking scary at night. It's all dark and totally deserted. I heard some shady people hang out there now. 
Jura. Huh? Do you have a minute? Karabikun, over here. What's happening? You just mentioned it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were into action movies. That one was a masterpiece. Pretty awesome. Lucky you. Yeah, look at her expression now. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? You've never seen it before? You're so interesting, Fuyasaka-san. That girl. I hope she turns out to be a witch. <laughs> oh, Yakushiji. So, you and that girl. Looks like you two are pretty close. What are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school. But I love you! No, I'm not going back to his house yet. Looking to see if there's anything else to do in the hallway, and then I'm going to the past. Okay. I have to go. Fluffy's waiting for me. Fluffy. Huh? What the? There's nobody here. Why are you hiding? Here, kitty, kitty. Not Fluffy. What the hell are you doing? It's the it's the fake, the fake Fluffy. You were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. <sighs> the next witch is inside the old building. He's a boy with short hair. And is wearing a school uniform with no buttons. So, I just shoot him and his powers will be sealed, right? Uh-huh. Now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not-magical gun, and he might use it on you. That He's talking about me! A pretty big hiccup to me! I think. Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Oh. Let's see if we can shoot myself. <laughs> if that's who we're talking about. <laughs> Just... <laughs> How badly would it hurt if I were to be shot? Look, the gun switches hands. She's ambidextrous. Huh? 
I had the same thought, Conk, we all. Don't cry for me, Juro Kurabe. <laughs> the He's truth is here. I have a magic gun. <laughs> There's nobody in here. There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. It was me! Stomping around with your gun out like that? You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. You're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. If it's for Juro, I'll do whatever I have to. Wait! Why did it why did I just let her go? Soccer Award Invasion Site 2025. Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. <gasps> Found it. Looks like it's just relaxing. It's just. It's just taking a load off. Juro, where are you? He couldn't possibly still be in there. I found him. for Please, don't go but Juro, you're hurt we need to get help I need you to stay please oh they're in love Everything and he's dying so dark I can't see your face. Lunar Why? tears to pay respects. Why did you get in that sentinel? You knew this is what would happen. Pineapple shark has it. No. I, <laughs> I don't know what that protect. fish is, but what was important to you? I wanted to protect you. <laughs> Wally, I mean, BJ. Hey, from one sentinel to do all this, unbelievable. The moment you enter the Sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Your memory is destroyed. In worst case, you become a husk. Also, all your clothes fall off. Minutes can be fatal. 
Izumi endured that pain. He fought in there for over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but you understand, don't you? It's too late for him. Uh-oh. Are you from the future too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet you won't even try. Please, there must be something you can do. Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. Wait. Is that how Juro Kurabe came into being then? Instead of Juro Izumi? Unseal six mystery files to unlock more of her story. Uh, okay, I want to do one more Ryoko chapter, and then I'm going to do some destruction. Yes. Your character has the uncanny ability to pop out of nowhere. Yeah, he does. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? Two. Eighty-five. What's the last thing you remember? Four-two-six. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Is that why the screen Maybe is bouncing? I keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Shifting. This should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. Screen bouncing because of but something worry, else bouncing. <laughs> memories will return quickly. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40-year intervals, so he can't travel freely. Invasion. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. Wrong. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? In the past? Are you alright? Ah! Where'd you come from? Miss hmm. Morimura. Are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course. That includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <sighs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. <sighs> Fine. The file is on my desk. 
It isn't everyone, but it does list those who are compatible at the school. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. I don't have the list. Therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Yusaka and Kisaragi, Class 1B, Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. Anime robots only being piloted by high schoolers. Yeah, that's always the way it goes. We're counting on you. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. Oh, so you have the list of the guys. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? Because 789. The fate of the world is at stake. But I'm Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. Source of the disaster. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. That thing deserves no sympathy. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now he calls himself A. Sekigahara. Hmm. A picture of 426. He calls himself A. Sekigahara now, but he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels. The disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. Or maybe he is one of them. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. So crowded. I don't have the list. And keep... No, the girls can wait. I need to focus on the boys first. I don't have the. So, where are the compatible ones? Hey, Tame any money? I have no idea if I said that right. Huh? She no know me, senpai. Good timing. We were just looking for you. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. I have a question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm. No, never seen him. 
I see. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Were you able to get your bread? You need my help with anything? What is happening over there? About last time. I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try. And I'm grateful to you for that. How chaotic is getting doing? lunch in this cafeteria? You're talking to me in front of other people? What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No. About him? I'm having a hard time keeping track of all the ships here. There's no way. All the romantic in entanglements. Who likes who? It's always a... Uh... It's always a... Uh, uh, unrequited. These pills are hard to swallow. <laughs> but it's the only way these headaches... Hard to swallow away. pills. Fuyusaka and Kisaragi. The first year classrooms are on the third floor. Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. It's a romantic shaped nightmare. Yeah, it's not a triangle. It's, it's just a squiggly line. Yeah. Now what? It doesn't look like I can push my way through. It doesn't look like I can... Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. A love Triska Triskai Decahedron? Did I say that right? Where are the compatible ones? I don't even know what that shape is. I should look at the pictures. Just make that up, Sunken so Fool. You don't have to follow me. Don't say it the like bread that. seller only has one piece of yakisoba pond. That's what's going on. Doesn't seem likely. Shape with thirteen sides. Ah, I see. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far, so I can better assist you? What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. That is true. <laughs> Those injured, frail arms. To think they could such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. Now what? He calls himself Aseki Gahara now. But he's gone into hiding. If I show his picture to the compatible ones, maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with last. See them. <laughs> My head. It hurts. Maybe I should just let the pills let let the, the headache happen instead of taking more pills. Except I can't do anything until I take them. Not that. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. I should probably take the pills. This should make me feel a little better. Yakushiji san, can I talk to you? Have you seen this person before? That's 426, isn't it? You know him? I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. 
Number 14? What the? That's a rude way to end a conversation. Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. I think that's Valjean Val, aren't we all? Four, two, six, fourteen. This is number fourteen. I have not played so the A AI Somnium files. We were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? Uh, oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Nagumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. I have not, Carpe Diem. compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario, she will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? But it's my Sentinel. Where am I going? Joy-Con drift. Piloting effectively is not possible in your On a PS4 controller. But number 14, Mr. Ida chose me for it. It's my Sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it, then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Yakushiji son. What? So how are we doing with everybody? 25, 22, 28. 28 and locked, 28 and locked, 37 and locked, 25, 14 and locked, 14 and locked. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of destruction. Probably just one of these. During a win streak, you'll receive a score bonus based on the number of battles you've fought in a row. You'll also receive mystery points based on total score. However, pilots who join the strike team will experience brain overload. When a pilot's BOL reaches the maximum, they won't be able to participate in the next battle. That's an interesting mechanic to force you to shuffle teams. Be mindful of the BOL gauge located above each pilot's portrait. The streak will end when you recover with Square on the team organization screen. Keep an eye on the health of your pilots and aim for a high score. Okay. Is the health the yellow bar and everybody's at half health right now? I need to see, what are we dealing with? Bonus objectives. Fuyusaka on the strike team. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. You can stick to your favorites by recovering each fight. That's brain overload. Once it's full, they're out for a round. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we want Fuyusaka on the strike team. What are we fighting against, though? How do I see that? There it is. Many aerial kaiju will appear. Okay. So we want guys that have 
anti-air stuff things. Uh... I like her guardian. I'm gonna bench him. A's got anti-air defense flares, so we might keep him out. Ata with, I don't think he's gonna be that useful in this fight. I think another G4, or G3 would probably be better. Okay, got it. Oh, they have different things of you. Okay. Genius. I'm ready. I got this. Now I know that. Shuffling. I'm sh every day. I'm shuffling, shuffling. No problem. Let's go. Okay. Let's do that. I think that's that's a good good setup. I don't know. Kind of just making it up as we go along here. Key things to remember what can hit air, what can hit ground, and what can bypass armor. About yeah. Those creepy looking demos? They're excavation models. Drill flies, looks like. Those things are already flying. Don't let it die, you just ran. Don't let the Aegis die, right? I can punch like a truck, but I can't reach the guys in the air. That's why I benched you. Nobody knows. Activate a Aegis or destroy all kaiju to win. And if the dis the terminal is is destroyed or any pilot is killed, then we screwed. Thank you. Uh. Okay. Let's find out. I'm thinking this. Nice. No room for hesitation. What's that? What's that big white circle over there? What's going on over there? Doesn't look good. Boom de boom. How's the sentinel? I can help. That's a meteor dropping more kaiju in. Anticipate new spawns and position accordingly. Gotcha. Don't waste any chances. This isn't so hard. Let's do this. Score. How is that? What's the plan? What's the situation? What can she do? She got guardian. I 
I don't think she. Okay. I don't think anybody needs to move though right now. Pierces Kaiju with a leg spike and unleashes an electrical surge. Probably not necessary. I don't need anybody to do anything. Just need to wait. Okay, now we need to do stuff. Hit him! I said hit him. I'll stop them. That easy, that's that. Okay, okay. okay. let's do this. And now hit these guys. Come on. Nice. That was great. These guys not dead yet. Die. Kind of big bell pop. Guess that did it. Did that do it? Did it? No, there's still one. Can't quite reach him. Oh, maybe I. Oh, I can. I can do it. Now it's dead. Yeah. Big kaboom. Thank you. Here's the plan. Oh, he can't quite reach them all. I also think I want to save him for other stuff. Maybe not. Always a mine at target area upon detecting Kaiju, it explodes over eating them. Drop a flare torpedo on the next spawn location. That's kind of what I'm thinking, except I think I'm in it. I'll drop it like right there. What just got hit? I don't think so. They're finished. This is all pretty freaky. Hit him. Are they all dead yet? All right, they're all dead. Oh wait. No fight, I can't win. Just move back a little bit. Blowing some stuff up.
<laughs> she just said get wrecked. I love it. Man, the range on those anti-air defense flares sucks. No, you know what? There's a bunch more dudes coming in from right here. Let's just drop some more defense players. Remember your terminal skills and EMP will decimate the weak ones and drop all flyers. Okay. Question. Uh, long range missiles? Yeah. That's what's happening there. Biggity boom bang. He can't hit any of these things. Don't waste any chances. I think that was a waste. Hit him. You're good. Did that do it? Next. Pretty much. There is nothing to hit yet. So, let's do a Guardian out uh, here. Stay on guard. There's the new spot, like right there. Oh, wait. Can that hit? Yeah. Okay. That can hit. Okay. Is there a way for me to hit both of these guys? Ah, oh, just out of range for me to hit them both. What is happening here? There we go. I can't quite get them both. Well, let's go hit this guy. Finish that jackass off. That one will run into a flare anyway. Keep on the new spawns. Okay. Well, this ought to do some damage.
How's the sentinel? Spook him back. Number eleven, moving at your back. What's optimal? Signatures from above. Uh, let's go after these bigger guys. Da, da, da. Guardians only pull enemies to them that are already spawned, but they're not bad beforehand. You don't have to take an action when it says, yeah, I, I got that. Boom, boom, boom. It's all those guys. No room for hesitation. Is that everything? I don't see anybody. Oh, except this guy. Who's still just kind of hanging out. Now it's dead. There we go. It's all done! We win! Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding 2 kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. Yeah! Yeesh, what a mess. At least this area is okay now. <laughs> uh, wasn't a mess. Yeah, and we can continue Shoe's story. Something messed now. with our heads. That's the operating limit of your Sentinel. You'll feel better once you're out. Piloting the Sentinel is an intensely demanding process. Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. I suggest you get out of the Sentinel right now, unless you want to forget your entire life. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. I yeah Pilots who suffer brain overload can no longer be deployed and must rest for one battle in order for their BOL to recover. Assign your pilots onto the strike team and defense squad efficiently to optimize the timing of brain overload recovery. Victory! This is rough. You're rough. Clothes are gone, but her bandages are still there. <laughs> that got kind of messy, but a win's a win. She got MVP just from deploying that sentry, which I didn't do until like the last wave. Any that are suffering BOL won't join either strike or defense, so keep an eye on who's suffering. Oh, okay. Good to know. Bonus objectives complete! We are not going to proceed to the next wave. Instead... We're going to go to the event archive. And... How do I unlock mystery stuff? Oh, I gotta go one more over. That's how. Unseal! A Japanese history book published in January of 1985. It contains Japanese history from the Stone Age up to the first half of the 80s. Keitaru Miura reads this book in Shu Amiguchi's room. Oh, 
photo of Yuki Takamiya and Natsuno Minami when they were in elementary school. This picture was taken near the home of Takamiya's grandmother on her father's side. Around this time, Takamiya liked her hair short, and Minami was known as the illustrious Dr. Space. Okay. Hey Kyle, off topic, but is there a way I can send you fan art? Warren Studios, if you're talking about uh, digital fan art, you can, I think the best place to do that is to tag me on the Discord server. Uh, there's a link for that in the chat right now. Um, if you're talking about physical fan art, I have a P.O. box, uh, and the details for that are at kylemccarley.com slash autographs. Um... This is the first time I've shown up not making a Taco Bell comment to Erk Lin Linda. Oh, wait. <laughs> nice, Valeria Black. Brown envelope. An envelope that was on the ground near where Aseki Gahara woke up. There was a document and a note inside. The document says Chihiro Morimura, 31, Sakura High School nurse, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The note says if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Cryptic note. A piece of folded paper found in the pocket of the dead woman, Miss Morimura. The two rows of numbers are 443685-3214. Black wallet. Fancy leather wallet. Inside are two 10,000 yen bills, one 5,000 yen bill, two 1,000 yen bills, one 500 yen bill, one 100 yen coin, two 10 yen coins, a receipt from a restaurant, 2,400 yen charge for four plates of katsu curry, and no credit cards. The while A stole. <laughs> Did you really need a point to reveal an ordinary wallet? I guess so. Uh, let's see, the key we already had. After Aseki Gahara lost his memories, he finds this in his pocket. It's a key for some sort of vehicle and has an emblem on the handle. Fuyusaka student ID. We just got this. Student ID for Sakura High School. Iori Fuyusaka dropped this on her way to school when she bumped into A. Sekigahara. After Sekigahara lost his memories, he finds this student ID in his pocket and realizes that it belongs to Class 1B Iori Fuyusaka of Sakura High School. Although Sekigahara recognizes Fuyusaka's face, he can't remember how he knows her. I don't have any more mystery points. That's it. Okay. Did I unlock the thing for... Let's see. Who's unlocked now? Oh, I need one more mystery file to unlock more Megami. Um, Natsuno Minami's exterminator event needs to happen before we get more A. Yuki Takamiya's girl with red glasses event needs to happen before we get more Natsuno. Nenji Ogata's victims of poison event needs to happen before we get more Takatoshi. We don't even have Nenji unlocked yet, but we did unlock more Shu. Here we go. Destruction first area, Ashitaba City Wave 2 cleared. So I can unlock. Let's go. To continue his story. Nice. So one, two, three, four characters that are still locked. Uh, and one, how many characters do we not have even on the wheel yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're missing three more, I think. Crazy how different the experience can be. Yuki was the last character I unlocked. Interesting. Yeah, so we can, yeah, you can do things in a very different order. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to save the game. And... That's going to be where we end today's broadcast. Right? That's math. It's been three hours. Yes, it has. Good. I've, I'm not crazy. 
Cool. I tagged you in dis in your Discord. I hope you can check it out when you can. I'm going to keep watching the stream. Thank you, Warren Studios. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to take us back over to this scene with my green screen falling down on me. It's not really falling down. It's just got wrinkles because it doesn't quite cover everything. And it's a little big for the space I'm in. Okay. I always miss it. Oh, I'm sorry to pariah. I normally would have st I normally start this broadcast at noon Pacific on Saturdays. I had to start early this week cuz I've got stuff going on uh this afternoon. Um I got I got to check before I talk about next week's schedule to make sure I don't have anything in the calendar. I don't. Okay. So, um Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit that follow button down there, assuming you're watching live here at twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. Hit that follow button. Make sure your notifications are on. You'll either get email notifications or push notifications to your phone, depending on if you have the app installed and what your account settings are. Every time we go live, our regular schedule is as follows. It's in the chat, but just going over it. Uh, next broadcast will be tomorrow, Sunday, at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Every Sunday at 10 a.m., I have a board game show with some friends of mine called The Board and Barrel. Uh, we are playing Zombie Side tomorrow. Um, it's a very interactive broadcast. We have uh, a mechanic for you guys to influence stuff that happens to us or for us during, throughout the course of the game. Uh, so you guys can kind of play along with us like that. There's also a bingo game for you guys to play virtual bingo as you watch the show. So, yes, the game we lost horribly, Arcanum Symphonus. We're going to play a different scenario and try to do better this week. Uh, that's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. On Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time, that same group of guys and I and some other guys uh, join us for some, uh, some video games, some co-op games or co-op-ish video games on a show we call the Co-op Corin Stream. Uh, several of us stream our perspectives at the same time. We have a multi-stream link available for you to see all of our perspectives at the same time or several of our perspectives at the same time. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be playing this week. We've been looking to play some Rocket League at some point, but there's a group of nine of us and Rocket League caps out at 8, so we may play something else. We'll see. Last week, or, th or this week, I guess I should say, we played regular human basketball, which was a chaotic adventure that was so much fun. If you missed it, go check out the VOD, because uh, it was it was a laugh a minute. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of, of maniacal cackling just because of what was happening. Basically, think lovers in a dangerous space time, but with more buttons, more robots, and more players. It was nuts. Uh, the extra player does commentary and rotates every game. Yeah, yeah game. Yeah, uh, and then uh, on Saturdays at noon Pacific time, usually this week it started early, uh, but usually at noon, VO related gaming. We're playing through 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim right now. We will be back to that next week. And let me check the calendar. Is next week the week? No, it's not. You got two more weeks to get your get your G earned, get your tickets, your giveaway tickets purchased uh, before we do the, the reveal at the end of the broadcast two weeks from today on Halloween, October 31st. At the end of that broadcast, I will reveal the winner of the giveaway for an autographed copy of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I really ought to take that cellophane off so that it's not so very, very reflective. Um, so that's still going on. But, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, um, oh, by the way, when schedule changes happen like they did this week, make sure you're in the Discord because that's the place to keep posted on those uh, changes. That's where I make those announcements, also during broadcasts. Um, but that's where unplanned un streams that happen outside of the regular schedule, they get announced there. Sometimes I pop in throughout the week, 
not during one of those three times that I just mentioned, to play games with other voice actors and stuff. So, uh, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's the, that's the, that's the thing. All right, that is all of the, th all of the stuff that I have to go over, Arcanum Symphonis, is to give you an idea how long this game may last. I did have it paused for some time while I did things or took naps, but I finished it with about 60 hours on the clock. Yeah, I, uh, 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 Erica Mendez told me the other day that she has heard it's about a 30-hour playthrough. Playthrough. I ran out of air in the middle of that sentence. Uh, so, it's gonna be, yeah, probably, probably a couple months of 13 Sentinels total. Let's see who's streaming right now. I think we are going to raid Billy Kometz, who's playing Super Smash Brothers. After these messages, stick around for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time for the Board and Barrel. Bye-bye!